Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shen Shumizu! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bida ngagha! In our Shansha Amazing episode for today, we are going to talk about the blood vessels still under the circulatory system. Blood vessels serve as the highway where blood flows. Merong tatlong uri ng blood vessels. Ang artery, vein, at capillary. Observe your body. Try to place your finger near your wrist. Can you feel it pulsating? In that area, you can feel the pulsating of your artery. Aside from the artery on your wrist, meron ding isa sa iyong leeg at sa ilalim ng iyong panga. The artery is a blood vessel that carries blood away from the heart. Remember, artery A, so it carries away blood from the heart. What kind of blood does it carry? It carries oxygen-rich blood. Ibig sabihin ng oxygen-rich, maraming oxygen sa blood na ito. The artery is elastic and tough enough to withstand the contraction of the heart muscle as it pumps blood out to the other parts of the body. During the cardiac cycle, the walls of the arteries expand due to the sudden pressure and recoil during the relaxation state. This expansion and recoiling of the walls of the artery is called pulse. And the pulse rate, or the heart rate, is the number of times the heart beats per minute. How do we find the pulse rate? It is quite easy. To find your pulse, use two fingers, your middle and your index fingers, to find your carotid artery which can be found just below your esophagus or throat. If you have found the carotid artery, just count the beats you feel for 60 seconds or 1 minute. And the number of beats per minute will be your pulse rate. Pumunta naman tayo sa isa pang uri ng blood vessel sa ating katawan, which is the vein. The vein returns blood to the heart or papunta sa heart. What kind of blood does it carry? It carries or it returns oxygen-poor blood. Ibig sabihin nito, kakaunti na lang ang amount ng oxygen sa dugo. In terms of structure, the vein has valves. Ano ang function ng valves? The valves prevent blood from flowing backward o para hindi umatras ang flow ng blood. In this picture, we can see the valves here, these valves open and close to allow blood to pass through. Unlike the artery, the veins are not thick. That's why they can be seen through your skin such as the back of your hand or on the surface of your arm. In this picture, we can see the veins on the wrist of the person. Let's have another trivia! Have you ever wondered why the color of the veins on our hands are green? Observe your palm or the back of your hand. You may notice that the veins are green in color. Why is this so? Remember, veins carry oxygen-poor blood back to the heart. High levels of carbon dioxide in the blood reflect blue. The blood appears bluish in color due to carbon dioxide. Aside from that, the yellowish color of fat 
and or the skin makes the blood in our veins appear green in color. The third type of blood vessel is the capillary. The capillary is the smallest and most numerous of the blood vessels. They form the connection between the blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart or the arteries and the vessels that return blood to the heart or the veins. And the primary function of the capillaries is the exchange of materials between the blood and tissue cells. They are the places where nutrients are delivered to feed all of the cells of the body so that our body will be healthy. Before we end the Shansh Amazing episode, let's have a quick recap of what we have discussed in this video. In this video, we talked about the circulatory system focusing on the blood vessels. Specifically, pinag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa artery, pulse and pulse rate ang ating heart rate, vein, the capillary, and some trivia about the veins. That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!